everyone. Um, so today, I'm actually, we're doing something a little bit differently. I'm going to be going to the Chocolate Museum and Cafe here in Orlando. Apparently, it's one of the newest, like, attractions that they have here. Um, I'm going to be going for um, one of my friend's birthdays. So, um, this museum and cafe, um, it holds 25 solid chocolate sculptures and up to six feet tall wine and chocolate pairings and co complimentary tasting of gourmet chocolates from around the world and a museum tour so um that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm just i've never been there so this is my first time here i'm kind of excited going with some friends um it is 17 dollars for admission um so so it's $17 admission, and then for children, it's $12.95. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, something different. Uh, I'm going to see what they have there. I mean, we ha I have been to a chocolate factory, well, not museum, but chocolate factory in Las Vegas, the Ethelim Chocolate Factory. Um, so, But I've never been to a chocolate museum, and I guess it goes over like the cocoa and chocolate history as well. So, um, yeah, just come and join us, and um, I'm going to have fun today and try, try a lot of chocolate, so I'm excited. Okay, so we just, I just entered into the chocolate factory, and they do have some of these bars. Oh, there's cranberry, lemon, orange, oh my gosh, look at all this, chili peppers, coffee. Mint, golden berry, and chocolate covered bananas. They also have these Tennessee honey Jack Daniels, Captain Morgan, on regular Jack Daniels. What is this one? Oh, Remy Martin? Oh my gosh, these look... Crystal has awesome. mint leaves. Shh, wow. Is there gonna be sound oh wow, I didn't even see any yeah, of these. Yeah, trade shows, man. This is awesome. This one has fermented black tea. If you ever wanted caffeine in your chocolate. Parmesan, walnut, and fig. These are fancy. Look at this matcha. Okay, so this one is, what is this one? Orange toasted sesame. Roasted fig and pecan. Okay, what's this one? Crunchy meringues. I feel like this is coconut. Toasted coconut. Dark chocolate with lavender. Oh, they have more. There's another tea. Royal Grey. Yeah, they're all very right. what I got to be interested. Yeah, that right? I like the candied orange. Pink oh, peppercorns. Dude, look, child. I want to try it. Ooh. 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 And then they have some shirts. eighteen ninety for a shirt. Oh, there's the shirt right there. And then they have, look at these little, like, boxes. Those look amazing. They do have this chocolate heel. Oh, here are the wine pairings. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That looks nice. Um, along with the tour, we did get a golden ticket. So this is what we have after paying for the tour. Prepare to be filled with your wildest, sweetest dreams and take a journey with us through the world of chocolate. Oh, and then there's the website. All right, so I can't wait to take this tour. Ch crunchy pearls. Awesome. All right. Chocolate, an irresistible, tantalizing pleasure. 
It's one of the most delicious treats loved around the world. But chocolate doesn't just happen. It doesn't start as a chocolate bar, a box of bonbons, or a sweet to eat. For most of its fascinating history, chocolate actually was a drink, a beverage. So let's go back to the beginning. Chocolate. It starts with cacao trees in rainforests around the globe. These incredible places cover only 6% of the Earth's surface, yet they contain more than one half of the world's plant and animal species. Rainforests possess the right kind of soil, hot temperatures, and humid conditions for excellent cacao growth. Rainforest conditions also produce a wide range of plant species and provide a tropical environment for birds and other animals. Rainforest plants have been used to treat many different ailments such as fevers, infections, and burns, lending credence to the rainforest's tremendous biodiversity. One of the world's best-known rainforests runs along the Amazon River through countries like Ecuador, Colombia, and Peru. As the second longest river in the world, the Amazon and its watershed encompass an area of over 2.7 million square miles, or over 7 million square kilometers. This region, specifically Ecuador, produces some of the finest cacao in the world. It's considered by many chocolate experts to be the land of cocoa. This golden cacao bean is the essential ingredient in all the finest chocolate. Cacao trees grow from 8 to 25 feet tall, producing different types of pods which yield a variety of flavorful beans. As a fruit, it might be expected that the pods grow on the outer lengths of branches or from leaves. Actually, the pods grow anywhere on the tree, most typically on the trunk. Each pod contains between 30 to 40 beans within a milky pulp. Once the pods are harvested, the beans are brought to a stockpile center and exported. The quality of the cocoa, with regard to the aroma or flavor, is entirely defined through fermentation. This process can take up to five days. It consists of transferring the cocoa from multiple boxes with a lot of stirring. Humidity is also important. The cocoa must be completely dry. Once the beans are dry and moved to the factory, additional production steps are carefully executed. These steps are as important as the raw material itself. It's at this stage that chocolatiers the world over decide which cocoa to purchase. Once within their own working environment, they add spices and flavorings to create the unique chocolate treats and beverages we've all come to love. As we now know, chocolate begins with cacao, a natural exquisite product that grows in harmony with man and the environment. Without rainforests, cacao and our favorite chocolates would be lost forever. We hope you enjoy your tour of the world of chocolate. Chocolate tastings are included. Your guided tour begins now. Thank you for watching. So I'm assuming you're all here because you love chocolate, yes? Right away. And then some of them came a little bit later, maybe a couple years later. So these are, is everybody here? So these, oh, okay, that's fine. So these are cocoa paste. They're not very edible. So don't try to lick them. Um, and they don't taste really good because they're super bitter. But they're cocoa paste. The only thing that is not is the mold inside these cases. Those are ceramic and they were painted. And the Taj Mahal has a little bit of cocoa butter. Mm -hmm. So you're welcome to look around, take pictures, videotape. I'm going to go check on your samples, and then I'll be back to get everybody, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got one of Statue of the Liberty. And then, and then we had the... Like the Easter Island percent. stone statues. And this is all chocolate. This one is of the Taj Mahal. And then Japanese pagoda and wow. This is awesome. The detail. Oh, and over here we have Mount Rushmore. Look at that. That's awesome. And then this is like what it looks like. Then we have the Great Wall of China. 
Windmills. And every single sculpture has like the picture of what it looks like. Little Eiffel Tower. I wonder what the second little Eiffel Tower on the bottom is for. Also, as you guys know, we are from Vegas. So we do have an Eiffel Tower the, at the Paris. <laughs> Venice. Oh, is this, uh, yeah, same, same in Moscow, St. Basil's Cathedral? Oh, look at this. Athens. That's so cool. Alright, isn't that the... I feel like that looks like the Assassin's Creed symbol. Because Adam plays a lot of Assassin's Creed, so... Oh, Big Ben. This chart up here that says cocoa is higher in antioxidant protection. I did not realize that cocoa powder was higher in oxidants than blueberries. Why are we not told to put cocoa in our smoothies more than blueberries? Because they don't want us to be healthy for me. Yeah, uh, seriously. Like, what's up with that? I'm gonna start doing this, you guys. Follow the chart. Follow the chart. We said the chart says so. All right. So here we have some of our uh, the truffles. Let's start over here. So we have raspberry rose, key lime, cookies and cream, exotic fruit caramel. They have look at this strawberry one. And that Nutella, wow, that looks good. I like that it's a heart. It's a peanut butter one. Oh, they have a mint. Black truffle chili. That looks interesting. Blueberry cheesecake, oh my gosh. I love blueberry cheesecake ice cream. some macaroons in this refrigerator case and then I did get some of these pastries so I got a key lime a chocolate hazelnut the tris leches and the peanut butter explosion so that's what I got but they also have food here they have paninis they have hot chocolate of course with it being you know chocolate museum but the other ones that I didn't get a chance to show you is orange blossom pistachio Bailey's dark lavender honey raspberry truffle and then they do have those heels on display for you to buy I love that so I am back from the chocolate um, museum and uh, I'm gonna show you what I got from some of the stuff that I got along with my lunch because I also had some lunch. The only thing that I don't have to show you was the tres leches because I ate it there while I was there. Um, and so, but I did show you what it looked like in the case. Okay, so here was the chicken avocado with goat cheese. Um, this was so good. Um, the avocado is starting to brown a little bit because, um, like I said, it's a couple hours later. Um, and it came with some chips. This was only, I ate the other half. This was only $9.99. And then this was the, I believe this was like the Nutella. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, it was, I can't remember what it was called, but it's something Nutella. And then this is the key lime pie here. And then here is the, what was this? The chocolate peanut butter. It's got a brownie on top with some peanut butter chips. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my, my sandwich. Um, and then later I we will be testing these out. Cause I got this one for Adam cause he loves peanut butter. Um, and then we'll be sharing these, uh, the Nutella and then the key lime. What is this? It's, 
I don't know, something peanut butter. I can't remember what it said. Mm, smell the peanut butter. Mm. How's the chocolate? rich. It's good though. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try, I think this was like something Nutella. Like I said, I can't really remember what they were called. Wow. Is it supposed to come in that like glass dish? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's really good. Very creamy. Very rich. Definitely need to go back here. They had a bunch of candy bars. Oh, did they? Mm-hmm. I haven't edited the video yet, so I haven't seen any of the footage. Alright. I'm gonna try the key lime pie. Can you take this paper off? <clears throat> Let's just set it back on there. Let's try this key lime pie now. A key lime cake. Not really a pie. Hmm. Does it have like graham crackers in it? Mm mm. It's just. Key lime filling and cake. And then on top of here, I want to say buttercream. It's very sweet. It's not my favorite key lime um, dessert that I've gotten, but it's okay. I really like this one. This is really good, and I loved that trust leches that I had. I had a, I had a trust leches. You would like the trust leches too. I mean, not bad for eight fifty. These were eight fifty. Hmm. So, <clears throat> well, I think that's gonna conclude this. Um, uh, this video here. Thank you for joining with us and um, I can't wait to go again. Um, this was, uh, I'm probably not going to do like the, the the tour part of it um, unless you want to do that. But um, it was an interesting experience to learn. I, I didn't bring you all along because I couldn't really, I wasn't allowed to film the um, the lady that was doing our tour. So, um, I'm sorry about that, but I couldn't bring you, that's why I was only able to show you some snippets of it. Um, but definitely something that I like that we did here, and I really want to go back, um, really good. Oh, they did say that if you do take the tour, you get, I think, 10% off of the purchases, including the, the shirt that they have there, and any treats, like the candies that they had there, the candy bars and any of these um, 
desserts that they have there. So um, that, that's good. So if you do do the tour, you will get 10% off, and that's what we did. And they also did have um, uh, vet, veterans discount. Yeah, they also had veterans discount. So that's good to know, too. Um, but it's over by iDrive. Um, so if you're in Orlando, it would be a good experience for you to do. Um, and, uh, cause it's over by iDrive, which SeaWorld is over by iDrive. It's, um, a lot, a lot of, uh, different museums and tourist locations are there as well. So, um, thanks again for joining with us and, uh, I think that's going to do it. And go ahead and make it legend. Wait for it.